Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome to another edition of the Cover Up Show. I am Rahmat Wasim, your host. Cover Up Show is designed to demystify the personality of the Muslim woman, giving her voice and celebrating her. Life struggles should be seen as our blessings. Through these struggles, we are molded and shaped. We learn the act of being patient, forbearing, and empathizing with other people. We learn to keep faith, keeping hope alive, knowing that although life is full of suffering, it also has the remedy or mechanisms for us to make, overcome. No matter how much it hurts now, just remember, someday you'll be looking back and you'll realize that your struggles actually change your life. Today we are having an interesting conversation on personality profile. We're taking a journey in the life of a very interesting and amazing, unique person. Our guest started her education at Datsu's Preparatory School at Bubuashi, Mudo Preparatory School at Dakuman, and continued to Accra High School. She pursued a course in marketing at the Institute of Management Studies. She obtained her first degree from Islamic University College Ghana in communication, journalism to be specific. Blessed with two children, she is currently working at GPC as a news anchor in Hausa and a reporter as well. Hajia Rahmatu Aubakar Mahmoud Jawando. Welcome to Cover Up. Thank you so much, my sister. Many thanks for joining us. Amazing. Thank you for having me. Eh, I've skipped a lot too. I you, my This you're myself. Wow. It's, it's 10 pages. <laughs> you know, I'm not good at myself too. <laughs> I've, I've said a few words about you and uh, I'm sure our viewers are itching to know your story. Um, to start with, I think I have to go over what you just said. Mm. My name is Hajia Rahma Mahmoud Jawando. Born to um, Mr. Baba Aubakar Mahmoud mm. and then Hajia Aisha Jawando. Um, I have two other sisters and a brother, so in all we four, mm. I happen to be the second born. Okay. And um, I schooled, as you said earlier on, mm. I just have to repeat some of the things. <laughs> I started with um, Datus Preparatory School, mm. then to Medi Preparatory School, to Accra High School, and then after school, I worked for a while, after SS. Okay, worked you worked after while. SS? Yes, I okay. worked with uh, Fay International. Okay. Producers of Fate Sanitary Tower. Oh, okay. Then I went back to school again. Um, that is where to um, Institute of Management Studies because okay. I, I happened to be in the marketing department. So then I said, why don't I then take pursue a course degree? that will help you with yeah. your career? So then I did marketing. I started with marketing. I started with the sim. I did the first year, mm. second, and then again I moved to GBC. Mm. By then they were just um, looking for news and course in Hausa. So okay. I moved then and I had to drop the marketing course along the line. So once I was in it I said, No then if this is where I find myself, why don't I then go back to school so to pursue a course to perfect that I think, it. you know, I find myself. So I went back to school, studied um, communication, uh, majoring in journalism. journalism. Yeah. yeah. And find and yourself as 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 a as a reporter as in a an anchor now. Yeah. So currently working with Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. And as well a freelance journalist for Deutsche Welle House Department to be specific. Wow, Deutsche Welle. <laughs> so you speak Dutch. Uh, uh, well, how, well, how did you land at Deutsche Welle? Whilst at GBC, this opportunity came up that they were looking for young um, house speaking journalists to train them. Mm. So that was in 2000, in 2007. Okay. I went there in August, mm. did a six, six months internship came back as in went to Deutsche Welle yes. in, in, in so Germany yes after the internship I came back to Ghana mm. then I proceeded to um, Goethe Institute to study mm. Deutsch after mm. a year then I had the chance to go back again to so you speak it freelancing. <laughs> yes but you know um, because I don't get people to speak, speak with, with so it's, it's like, getting a bit I'm rusty just, yeah 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 but if I just chance by people who speak it I do speak it with them how do you say how are you? 
gladiators, dear. You know, you and, know, with, and I will say what with Deutsch, it's like, um, you know, there should become some kind of respect. Mm. With you, I see you as a colleague, so it's mm. gladiators, dear. But if it's my first time of meeting you, I can't really tell a lot about you. So what I have to say is gladiators in and. What's the difference? The different in and comes with an elderly person, person a bit of respect, showing much more respect. respect. But yeah. then when I see you as a colleague, I know you. Oh, but yes, dear. And then it's like maybe saying hello, how are you, and maybe hi. Yeah, this is something That's like it. that. Yeah. Interested. Yeah. It's good to know people's culture and how they see things. Hello, I studied a lot, a lot mm. when I went mm. to Germany because I didn't even know the first. The first thing that baffled me was like I didn't know you could even invite me to uh, let's say breakfast or or lunch. And I have to pay it myself. I have to bear the cost. Whenever I invited you to have oh, yes. breakfast Whenever with me. Whenever you're being invited and you go, you go with a person, you have to pay for whatever you enjoy. So before really? you, when, you, when you get there, they will take you through the culture. To they will give you some orientation. Yes, there will be some orientation. And then you at least one That's a complete different world. <laughs> different world from ours. Because I'm telling you. <laughs> Like anyway, what? you know sometimes when you when you when you are invited, you don't you say your and fans are pine cold. Just don't so go it's empty like empty even when you're invited handed. for a party. It's not like here that I just tell you, Rami, I'm inviting you for a party. Just come over. You mm -hmm. come. You come over empty handed. Mm -hmm. You should also take a package. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like so a bottle of wine or yeah. some. I should have some non alcoholic, some of course. Chicken popcorn, some wine, non alcoholic mm -hmm. beverages mm -hmm. or something to take to come along with. I can mm -hmm. just come bear. You know, I'm just even going to feel ashamed. Wow. Yeah. So after Deutsche Vela, then back to GBC. Well, now you're doing. Yeah, yeah. By then I wasn't. I wasn't a staff of GBC. I was a guest artist when okay. I left. Okay. Okay. So over there, I decided. Well, I was working. Mm. I was earning, but it wasn't worth it because as a girl who is growing, not married, and you know, just being out there single, you know. I thought it wasn't the best. Mm. Why didn't don't I come home mm. and settle and settle down? Because over there, you would earn the money, mm. but you can't even spend it. You don't have a life. It's a, just like work, school, home, work, mm. school, home. Always trying to catch home. up a train or a bus. You're always on the on the run, running. Mm. You don't have a life. I'll tell you totally. You don't have a life. So it even affected me in a way when I came down because. Mm. Whenever I'm working with my mother, I just go like, I don't walk like a lady. I wouldn't lie to you. Mm. I don't walk like a lady. My mom would just say, take your time me, and lady. walk. Take time. Walk like a lady. You're in Ghana. I'm in Ghana. But mm -hmm. I always had the mentality that, you know, you, you have to, to walk chase fast, and just catch the train, do this. A train will not come mm -hmm. and wait for you. So you come, come and wait for the train. train. So. It's a good attitude. I'm, I'm sure it, 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 there are certain things that you picked up. I picked that also up, helped I, I you with, with, with your work. I learned a lot. So I just called my mom told her, Mommy, I just want to come home. Mm. Why? I just want to come home. Mom said, she, my mom was happy because she was disturbed but never showed that she was disturbed. Ma ma mothers don't so tell. So I, I just told my boss, I want to go home. He was like, uh, did anyone offend you? I said, no. I just want to go home. I'm well, tired. Mm. In, he, initially, he didn't even see me as a person who wanted to stay abroad because he, he just, um, you know, told a senior colleague that mm. I don't see this girl as somebody who wants to stay live in here. Germany. Yeah. Mm. So that that colleague spoke with me. That was when I came for internship. And I said, mm. oh, really? Yeah, because you don't look like, you know, you always look like, you know, you're happy going mm. home, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. So when I came back, I don't know, there was no life in Germany. Let me just go back home. And, and start all over yeah, again. So I came back home, came back to my job because I was a guest, a guest artist before mm. I was established. Mm. So then mm. I was established. And, and we became a, a, a permanent staff, staff and yeah. a year of. Yeah, that was how I got into GBC. Oh, okay. So when did the marriage thing happen? Because you, were, you said you were coming, you want to come and settle and all that. Well, the, you know, you, you know, as, as, as somebody, as a lady growing up, you mm. would get people, you know, showing interest. Suitors in coming. You, coming in. Uh, yeah, yeah, showing interest in you. But it's up to you to decide. Mm. But then my mind wasn't there. I was like, oh, holy cow, I don't have time for you guys. You guys will talk sweet sugar-coated <laughs> words. <laughs> so anytime you talk, mine is just education, make money, education, work money, education. Build my, yourself. My, 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 you know, my grandfather just called me. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. Yeah, 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 Sat yeah, me yeah. down and said, so are you telling me that you would always be on money, money, life, ma money, money, school, school, money, money, school. You don't want to think of marriage. Anytime he says that, I just like, oh, Grandpa Pine, and I went into my room. <laughs> because <coughs> either work, school, 
or in my room. Mm. Those are my three things. Mm. These are the three things that I do every day. Mm. School, work, in my room. Mm. I don't leave my room. All I'll just tell you. People, I mean, I was just in my bed. My bed is not upset with you, so me, you so always go back. Why do I have to go somewhere and where I'm not even needed? What I didn't even say, they just say I said it. So let me just go into my bed and Come to yourself. That's, That's a good discipline to have yes, as, as, yeah. as a young So he got to a point, up. he was like, do you really... I know people do come to you, but even my uncles had a negative thought about me. They thought mm. maybe because of the job where I find myself, so it's like I'm not ready for people mm. who you, you come feel too my, big. Who come my way. And mm. stuff. There was even it got to a point that um, an elderly person at work called me and told me, "My dear, pack your car and start walking, <laughs> so that people can see you." I, I just laughed. Because I don't, I don't see how they see me. Maybe mm. they see me like somebody with a high class or something. Mm. Not until my grandfather called me and said, "Do you want me to die before you get married?" I was like, "I don't have to sit up and get serious." That was how I got serious and I just <laughs> made a decision. To take that decision. But how how was growing up like? Growing up was, uh, I would say, smooth and rough, because um, being raised by a single mom, you know. It's not easy mm. because so, sometimes you would come. You need things for school. You're not the only person. There are other siblings. Mm. You she cannot always, you know, sort you out. There are days that she just tell you, "I have it." Days that she doesn't have it. What do you do? Mm. You just have to be content with whatever she gives you. So mm. I would say growing up has been a bit challenging. Mm. I would say so. Is that why you you started working right after SSS, or after there was an opportunity that you after, 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 after whilst whilst in school in my final year. Um, a workshop was run by was run in the school by this company. Mm. So the marketing manager, after I think I was just doing a project for Gunsa because I was a member of Gunsa, mm. and uh, I did a project called Agen Gunsa, Agenda, the Ghana, Ghana, Ghana United Nations, Nations Student Association. Okay. Yeah. So I did a project called um, Agenda Agenda Two Thousand, mm. and when you finish that project, you have to just do um, something to indicate that you finished. So I chose cleaning up of the psychiatric hospital. Okay. So by so doing, I was just looking for sponsorship. Because they were in my school, mm. I went back to that company, mm. seek for sponsorship, they helped me. And afterwards, the, man the managing, uh, marketing manager showed um, interest in the way I go about it. Were you able to come and there and just, and just told me articulate that. yourself and convince them to assist you? So, and just told me that right after SS, what do I intend doing? I mm. said, whatever I get. He said, after school, just come in and then work for a while. I came in, worked, I started work immediately after school. Okay. Yeah, worked for a while. And then mm. um, I was very, you know, very active, mm. very, very active person. So they said, no, I should just go to the marketing department That's and cool. learn on the job. Yeah. I really learned on the job. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So then afterwards, the managing director was like, no, I like this girl. There's something about her that I like. So I just want to, you know, take her back to school mm. so i went to i went for my marketing course on a scholarship oh okay yeah they paid for everything they, they paid for everything they paid oh, for everything shiny. you know it pays to be nice Nine and, book and, and, and learning in studios and 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 yeah so, so they paid for everything and then along the line too i said that i want to go it when i saw mm -hmm. when i saw this advert of uh, gbc then my your attention also yeah, when the Mm. And so that was mm. when I lost track of the marketing something and then went went back. And Are you enjoying what you're doing now? Fantastic, I'm mm. really enjoying it. Mm. Sure. What was your all-time, you know, career path? What was your wow. dream job? My dream job. Mm. You would love it. <laughs> Cooking. I wanted to be to be a chef to become a chef. An international chef. Totally. Yeah, you heard of marketing, you are now a broadcast. Been, that dream has been buried now. No, it can't be buried. It can't be buried. Well, you can, you're, you're always international chef for your, 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 your family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I you wanted to be an international chef? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I discussed you love it. cooking. I discussed it with my mom. Mom, after GSS, I'm not going to go further. What I wanted to do is go to a catering school. And she was like, okay, no problem. I don't have any problem. If that is what you, what you want to do, I will do it. Because with her, it's like... Whatever you want to become, and I have the means, I would support, support you, you doing. That has been her and her. Mm. Whoever wants to further his or her education, and I have the means, I will support the person. If you say, I want to get married, and you bring in your man, I would let you go. 
Mm. My mom, I, I like her because she's very soft, very understanding. She, mm. Though she's, she's very strict, strict, but she always... She's always her understanding her and she, she buys into you. to have her own mm. Mm. I told her, okay, if that is what you want, no problem. Hey, and then this, my uncle came from nowhere. Oh my God. I tell him this guy doesn't know how to cook, so he wants to take her back to school. <laughs> <laughs> If it's cooking, then better take her to uh, <laughs> the with a lady with the choba, running the choba. Better take her and let her learn how to cook. You're going to buy this silver set, whatever set, and then went as if she's going for uh, this thing, marriage. And then when she's going again, you again buy her a silver set. No, 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 over my dead body, I won't let her go. I was like, hey, this guy, from nowhere, uncle, <laughs> give it forever. Anyway, many thanks to you, Uncle Alajali. I really like that. I really appreciate that. He really um, played a role in my life. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. your father, your mother's uh, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, thanks to him. You, you turned out very, very fine. Very, Thank yes. Uh, international chef. <laughs> on that, that on, dream, yeah. It's still materialization. Inshallah. Like, some big easy. restaurant. Oh, inshallah. <laughs> it's getting interesting with Hajia Rahmatu. Aubakar Mahmoud Jawandu. And it's, it's been such a fantastic time already. But before we go back and continue... Through her journey, let us acknowledge our sponsors for helping us to come to your home every Friday, 9 p.m. on Cine Plus. We start with Chocho Herbal Clinic. Chocho your Herbal Clinic, your ultimate and reliable healthcare center. Insania Herbal Drug Center, producers of Mercy range of products. Mercy Cream, discover the secret of true beauty. Rami's Kids, Home and More. Kekao Furniture, finishing just as you want it. And Habil's fabric and modest wear for the best in modest clothing. Hajia, yes, we're moving on. Now you're settled. That's also your, one of your prayer that you want to settle. You want to have your own family. Yeah. Tell me, how is it like combining career and family? Alhamdulillah, combining career and family is mm. not easy. Mm. Combining career, family and schooling. Mm. You're schooling at the same time. Yeah, these three things. It's mm. not easy. Mm. But uh, Alhamdulillah, as I said, I have a very wonderful family, a very uh, understanding husband, mm. and support from my siblings and my mom. So I would say it's going on well. I think, cover up, we need to institute awards for best husbands because so far, all my guests yeah. have all, you know, given. Um, testimonies to oh their God. husbands, you know, yes. supporting them. And it's, I, I, kudos to all those. I'll continue to be inspiration to other ones so, so that we can also progress and, <laughs> and move on and, 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 and also pursue our careers and achieve our dreams. Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. So they support you. They help they you they to, to, to juggle always. all these uh, very, very important I'm very things. Grateful. I'm mm. grateful to you. I'm very grateful to you all. Mm. My husband, my parents. My siblings, mm. my kids, they do understand me too. Mommy, you have to go. <laughs> said, yes, I have to go. And, then and they just like, they leave you to go. But when it's time to pick pick them up from school, you know, I try my best. best Sometimes I pick them on time. Sometimes mm. to, I run late and I have to call the teachers. Mm. Don't we all? Oh, mm. so, yeah, so, you know. Alhamdulillah. Sometimes so far, something have to give. You know, so far, Alhamdulillah. So so, yeah. That's in, good. Uh, you, you are a, a second wife. Yes. That's an interesting I subject that I... You're young too. Yes. You know, we, we have... It people. Yes. You know, um, somebody just saw me with my husband and was like, um, before we got married and he introduced me, mm. I was like, oh, is she a young girl or, you know. Mm. I said, I'm a young girl. God little, I'm a young girl. Mm. But they wouldn't understand. I realized that we click together. He understands me and I understand him. So mm. if that is the situation... Definitely, we're just going to click. It's going to work out. Mm. You know, in marriage, sometimes you just have to see, um, does this person I'm going in with going to understand mm. me? Would I also understand him? When there is understanding, I think you're halfway true. Mm. Mm. But when there is no understanding, you're forced onto each other, then you wouldn't go that far. far. No. Yeah. You wouldn't even enjoy the marriage. No, 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 no. But you know each other. You know what really, you know, how far this lady can go, how far this guy can go, mm. what really puts her off. Mm. Some but most young people would have gone like, oh, because I haven't married before and I'm young, I want to have my own husband. Mm. 
well, I didn't see it. Yeah, such. you're not looking at a husband. Mm -hmm. You're looking at raising a family. And once, once I'm up and coming, and then mm. you know, I also have my own thing doing. I'm also busy somewhere. I don't sit and say I'm waiting for <laughs> this man to come and then do this, do that, <laughs> do that. I think I'm okay. Mm. I wasn't there for course at all. No, 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 no. As having a having a rival, she's she's my sister, mm. not a rival. Maybe she, somebody else might see it as she has a rival, but she's not my rival. Yeah, honestly she's speaking, sister. she is my other sister. You Whenever play. I think I need her support, I would call okay, her. Okay. Though it hasn't gotten to that mm. yet, but mm. if I think I need her support, why, why not? I would call on her. Mm. She's a sister and not a rival. No, no, no. Alhamdulillah. I like it's, it's refreshing. Any, any, you know, as we all grow up, sometimes some decisions that we take doesn't really lead us to the destinations that you want. Any regrets? So far, I don't think I have any mm. regrets. Mm. No. Mm. The only re regret uh, I think I have is I wish I had known earlier. Mm. I would have married way back, mm. have my kids, grew up with them, you know. Have all the fun it takes to have with your kids. Mm. That is my only regret so far. Mm. Would have because settled I early. I realize that sometimes they need they needed me most, but I'm not there. Mm. But all the same, I'm managing. I'm doing my best to to, to be in best. their lives. Mashallah. How do you see success? A definition of success. You know, with God fearing, mm. perseverance, respect. Mm the way is ahead of me mm. that is how i see it because if you if you have if you're a god-fearing person mm. you, you you know you can't be 100 percent, but you have the fear of god as the forefront mm. you respect you have respect for any other person be it little be it an elderly person be it a younger person mm. and then you know you always want to be truthful you would get somewhere mm. because what are what are the hindrances to success you don't have the fear of God. God. You don't tell the truth. Mm. You don't. You don't have respect for humanity. Mm. You wouldn't go anywhere. Mm. No. Mashallah. Any role models? People that role model. Yes. I like that. <laughs> my mother model. has been my role model. Mm. She was. Uh, I mean, ever since I was growing, she's been hardworking. A hardworking woman. Mm. So I have taken a cue from her. I have, uh, you know, learned from her that you don't have to rely totally on a man. To be successful you can help yourself mm. because single-handedly she raised four of us alhamdulillah 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 mm. we're all graduates alhamdulillah mashallah i'm not boasting please be and i I, I i i get it i really cherish them a, a, yeah. mm. a lot mm. a lot a mm. lot mm. to to do that single-handedly single-handedly she mm. took care of her, all of us, mm. all of us. Alhamdulillah. Sure she, she didn't leave anybody out. No, 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 no. no. If you and it's not just paying the go. school fees, probably, you no, know, no, encouraging no. you, she putting said, these she, dreams in. she gives you the fees, she's like, you see the way I'm suffering? I didn't get there. I want to see, ensure that you get there. Mm. So please don't let my money go waste. waste. She'll tell you that. That is the first thing she'll tell you when you come to me, I need to buy this book. Or I need to do this. Or I need to. She'll just tell you straight away. Mm. I didn't get there. I'm trying. I'm striving just to see that you get there. Helping you pay, to pay your black tax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, because yeah. because she suffered. Oh, yeah. She doesn't want you to go through that. And because of where she's placed you, your children are not going to go through what you went oh. through. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's going to lessen. So time yeah. will come. Yeah. There'll be no bedding, yeah. and all of us will be yeah. will be will be comfortable. She looks at us today, and you know. She's, she's, she's a proud. proud. She's alive, right? She's alive. Alhamdulillah. Taking care of your children. Yeah. Continuing with her job. As I'm seated here, she's with my kids. Mashallah. Yeah. You're on good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell us me, oh. <laughs> Alhamdulillah yeah. for mothers. I mean, we are all grateful to mothers and yeah. for bringing us uh, this far. Hajia, yeah. your final thoughts. But before you come in with the final thoughts, mm -hmm. I realized you, throughout the conversation, you spoke of your mother being a single mother, taking care of all of you yeah. and all that. Is your father alive? Oh, he's alive and kicking. He's mm. doing wonderful. Mm. Yeah, he's well. You know, I even like to take this opportunity mm. as my final thought mm. to, uh, you know, advise the men out there whenever there is a misunderstanding between you and your wife. Mm. The kids are innocent. They are not a part of it. 
Mm. Try as much as you can to get closer to them. Take the responsibility as a father. Mm. Let them enjoy you. Let them grow up with you. No matter the situation, no matter what the woman did, try to let the kids stay out of this. Mm. That is my final word. That will be your final word. Yeah. It sums everything up. Thank you so much for joining us Thank on the cover of Hadia. Rahmatu. Mahmoud. Ah, ma no, Abu Bakar. I can see the way you straight. You like straight with this Abu Bakar? <laughs> <laughs> One person, I mean, four names. Oh my God. It tells you. It tells you. It Strong tells woman. Story. Thank you. May Allah bless you for Allah blessing us with your story and inspiring us. Allah and Allah. I like that bit about the message to the fathers. That no matter the struggles, no matter the challenges that we go through, between the spouses, it has nothing to do with the children. Let us stay close. Let us love them. Let us enjoy our children. And not necessarily the spouse. We might not have it all, but the children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. They will grow up and become inspiring and inspirational to all of us all. Viewers, we've come to the end of yet another inspiring and motivating episode on Cover Up, the show designed to demystify the personality of the Muslim woman, and then one by one. Jazakumullah has been with me, Rahmat Wasim, here on Cover Up Show. May Allah be with us all. Let's do this same time, same place. Assalamu alaikum.